Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be another update on the theme park. I want to thank you guys for all the support on this series, it's been amazing. You guys have been sending me tons of stuff. Now if you don't see your item in the park right now, it's not because I'm not going to use it, it's just because I'm so far behind right now. Thanks for sending it anyways, it's amazing the amount of support that you guys have given me. I mean, it's crazy. Every time I check my email, there's something new that you guys want me to see. So, I'll continue to accept those, probably flash that up on the screen right now. But anyways, you'll probably notice the first new thing is the welcome sign. It has completely changed from how it used to be. Now, this was made by fellow YouTuber Coca Cookie. We featured a couple items from his channel before. Uh, he gave us that boat walker and he had like a house. So he's created this welcome sign. You can see it shifts over. I think that's really awesome. I like it a lot better than my original one. My original one was just the uh, green sign and just had the logic gates that lit up and said welcome. I like that little shift it does. But anyways, let's go ahead and walk back into the park. Nothing much has changed right here in the center part. Uh, you can see I still haven't built the Ferris wheel yet. Uh, we were busy building a new ride. Uh, the big drop tower on the right, you guys wanted to see one of those, and me and Moombo put that together. I'll go over that here in a second. Uh, over here to the left, I finally set up Spexy's rides. Uh, Retro Spexy sent me two rides from last episode, and he sent me some pixel art, so I have that right in between. So you guys know when you play on these rides, these are his two rides. So I want to thank him for that. It's amazing. Uh, behind me is the Scrambler. We looked at that last episode. I'll link that in the description if you want to see that thing in action. But yeah, I'm trying to think of where I want to go first because there's so much new stuff right now. You know what? I guess we're going to go ahead and check out the Drop Tower. This is the Comet Drop. This is something me and Moombo put together. I want to thank him. It would have taken me twice as long to build this thing. Now, this ride could work in two ways. Uh, the first way, the way we have it, is that this ride is powered from one of the seats. Uh, the second way, we could have put a sensor on here and had it shoot the uh, cart up to the top and have it set on a timer and then have it like come off the timer and come back down. Uh, I didn't quite want to do that because I, I was thinking that maybe we were going to make this too busy and I'm trying to minimize the bearings as is because I don't want this thing to lag for you guys. But I can switch it back. I'm still thinking about it. But right now we have it set on this chair here. So the one key is going to shoot the ride up and the two key can shoot it down. Now uh, it's got a stopper up there. So if you hit the one key, it's going to pin you all the way up here to the top. And it'll you'll hit the little hub up here. So it stops there. And whenever you're ready, you can either just release the one key and let gravity do its thing and drop you. Or you can hit the two key and the two key has thrusters that will push you down. Now, first thing I want you guys to see is the view up here. The view is absolutely amazing. It's a little better on the other side. Let me see. I don't know how good I am here. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. You can see on that side, there's the new area. Well, it's not really a new area, but the area has been totally revamped and some of the new rides, but really nice view. Let's go ahead and hop back over here. Okay, I think we're ready to drop. I'm going to go ahead and do the natural drop first. So if you release the one key, that's what it looks like when gravity takes over. It's a fairly nice drop, but you can also, let me go ahead and go back to the top real quick. There we go. Now you can also use the thrusters to do this. So we're going to hit the two key. So the two key definitely go down a lot faster. I'm going to do that one more time. Let's do it in first person. So here's the raise. Now, I guess you could put a sensor on the bottom and give it like a bouncing action. Uh, it kind of depends on what type of drop tower this is. Some are power launched, so they'll launch from the station up real fast, and some are just, they'll go up slowly and then just do a drop. So let's go ahead and do this from here. That is awesome. But yeah, that's the comet drop. Like I said, thanks to Moombo helping me build that. That was amazing. He's also got one more building in the uh, park here. The next ride I want to show you is by Colin. He sent me a message over Twitter and then he sent me an email. Uh, he's got something, I don't want to call it a scrambler, it's a little bit different. The scrambler normally has the uh, chairs where they spin. These are actually driven by like gravity and they just swing up. He's got a really neat mechanism under here. Uh, he's got these thrusters going and you can see the pole goes all the way up to the top and they're swinging around like that. Now, I was tempted to do that on my scrambler but I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to, like, 
I wanted to maybe make that one reverse, so I didn't know if I wanted to do it that way. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and stop it real quick. And you're going to watch these swings will actually come down because the forces are finally pulling it back down. That's really cool, actually. And I, I love the way it looks. It's got a really cool style. But uh, let's hop on here and get in a seat. There we go. Now, this would be the way you would do real, like those really big swings. I thought about doing one of those for the park, having one of those really huge platforms and having multiple swings. I don't know exactly how I want to do that. I'd probably do it similar to this and just make it where there's a lot more swings. And now this is making me a bit dizzy. All right, we need to hop off real quick. Yeah, that's, uh, that was kind of hard to stare at. Wow. But that's a really cool ride. This is not in its final place. I need to find a place to put this. I'm thinking about putting it in the farm bot area. I'm doing a little farm bot theme on that side of the park. So I might move this over there because this side's already fairly busy at the moment. Uh, another thing I want to put in this area, I want to put some bumper cars. So look for that coming up hopefully soon. I just got to figure out exactly how I want to do those. Uh, Retro Specs, I believe, sent over some bumper cars. So I'm going to test those out, see how they work, see if we need to modify it, see kind of how we want to do it, if we need to change it up a little bit. So uh, he sent those over, but I haven't really gotten to check those out yet. But anyways, uh, if you're wondering what that little flyer is, that is actually Scrap Mechanist. I'm going to use it for aerial shots of the park. Okay, back to the main area. Now this area has changed a ton. Uh, I had the stage up there, I had a couple of these little picnic tables, and then I had the gift shop. Well, now the stage has been completely redone. Uh, me and Moonbo were working on it Saturday, and we got a lot of work done through this area. Uh, we completely redid that. I'm going to go over that here in a second. And uh, Moonbo also added a stall. He wanted his Moonbo ice cream stall, so this is his. It's actually really cool. I love the cone on top that spins. Got a little area to eat your ice cream. Let's go ahead and check out the inside real quick. I love the art style here. This is a... Uh, this just reminds me of an ice cream parlor. Uh, you can see all little ice cream flavors down here. You got a little cash register. That button's actually uh, for the spinning cone on top. A really neat little stall. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for stalls, let me know because I've already got quite a few here. I've got more on the other side. But uh, if you guys can think of anything that you want to see stall-wise, just let me know. Uh, let's go across to this side real quick. Now, I've got a new game over here. This is by Dusty. Uh, he sent me this. Now, this game is one of those hammer games where you hit the hammer on the bottom. It's like a strength test game, and it shoots up and it hits a bell at the top. Well, with the hammer hit and scrap mechanic, it's just kind of one hit. Like, it's it doesn't change strength. Now, you can kind of hit an object a little bit different, and it'll send it in a different direction. But I think pretty much the hammer's like one solid hit, like it's going to be the same each time, but it at least lights up. There's like a little counterweight in here, I believe. So you hit this and boop, all the way to the top. At first I thought he had this thing functioning and I was like, how did he do that? But then I realized that Scrap Mechanic's hammer hit is like one strength each time. So I kind of was like, oh, that... I don't know how he made that work, but then I looked at it and I was like, oh, he's just it goes up to the top every time, but it is absolutely amazing. I love the way it looks, the sound. It really reminds me of one of those Hammer games. And we have a cookie stall by Coca Cookie. We're going to go over that here in a second. I've also built a burger stall. I really like the way this building looks. I love the little burger I put on top. Uh, I wasn't sure if I wanted to have just a hamburger or a cheeseburger, so somebody's going to get on to me about having cheese on the burger. Normally, I don't like cheese, but I, th I just think it looks nicer, so here's that. We're going to go inside real quick. We've got a little area. It's like one of those build-a-burger shops, so you've got all the ingredients in here. Some patties, looks like tomatoes, lettuce, buns, you got your uh, mustard and ketchup. There's a little grill back here, a little sink area. I like the way this looks. It, it looks pretty cool. Got the big burger. I still, that burger is just awesome. Just every time I look at it and you can see on top, there's little sesame seeds on top of it. So yeah, you've got that. You can come over here, look at the menu, uh, order your burger and then check out. Now over here, this is a stall made by Coca Cookie. Uh, it's really cool. I was looking at it first. I was like, oh, it's a lot of bearings, but I didn't realize that he uses those as decorations on the cookies, I guess. Uh, but we can go in here. Let's go ahead and open this door real quick. Oh. But yeah, everything opens up in here. It actually, you can close the store, so you can move that, and it'll close the little door there. Got that. 
Let's open that back up. He's got some drawers in here. I think this is housing all of the uh, controllers and logic gates. Got that, all the drawers up here open, all the cabinets, everything just opens up. There's a lot of detail here. He's got, he does a lot of detail in his work. I love that about his work. I've got a little storage area here. And you've just got a couple sinks, a uh, nice area. I'm, I'm assuming this is like a cookie stall. Maybe you can get some coffee here. It looks like he has a couple little those canisters. So really nice stall. So I want to thank him for this and the sign that he sent over. Those are both amazing. So I'll put a link in the description to his channel. I highly suggest checking it out. It's uh, really cool. Now this is the revamp stage. It was pretty bare last episode. There was just nothing on it. Now we've got two big video screens. We've got speakers all over the place. I've got some pyro. It looks somewhat like a band set up. I probably need to put some drums or something here. But yeah, here's the mic. You can stand on it and you can see the pyro going off behind you. It's on a little sensor down here. I really need, got all the speakers, the monitors, everything's just got a lot of detail. And it's even got a backstage area. Now I was afraid I was gonna forget this for the video cause you can't really see it. Like if you're just passing by the stage, you don't notice there's a little opening there. But yeah, there's actually a little backstage area, so the bands can come back here, rest, get ready for the show. A uh, really awesome stage now. It looks so much better than it did before. So really proud of that. Me and uh, Moombo worked on that one. But yeah, that's about it for the park right now. Uh, this was actually a huge update. I didn't know it was going to wind up being this big. Uh, hopefully, I don't think the video is going to be that long. But uh, yeah, I'm still working. Uh, I've got the farm bot area that I need to start on. That's going to take a lot of work. I might move that one ride that I was talking about made by Colin. I'm going to move that. Uh, where everything else is, I'm pretty happy with the uh, like the new game where, that Dusty sent us. It's in a great spot. I'll probably extend this midway area even further back so we'll add more stalls and games. And this will be just like the central line of the park. But yeah, I still got tons of work to do. You guys can still send me all the creations that you want to. Uh, like I said, I will not be able to use them all because I want to make sure this world is really easy to run. Uh, right now, I'm getting over 100 frames, but I've got a really, really nice computer. But I've had other friends join, and they, they're getting 60, 70, 80 frames. And they're able to actually use the rods and play the game. So that's why I'm really excited about this project because I know that if you, have, you and your friends want to go in here and play around in the park, you'll be able to do that. And that's really exciting for me. Then I'm also really excited about all the YouTubers and all the viewers that have helped with this. This is truly a community project. I'm in talks with more YouTubers on, you know, if they want to build stuff, stick it in the park. Uh, the support's been amazing. I know people that want to just have just a little chunk in the park. I mean, even if it's something like Coca Cookie, him sending that cookie stand, I mean, that's just a little touch that if you are a viewer of his, you'll see it in the park. And you'll know, you know, he made that or retro and his colorful rides and his, you got his logo in the middle. So I look forward to bringing you guys plenty more updates. Uh, yesterday we had our multiplayer Monday. So if you'd like to check that video out, it'll be in the description. We had a really cool challenge there. But yeah, that's going to about wrap it up for this episode. I'm going to put everybody's channel links down there. Now, if you were a creator and I used one of your uh, rides or something and you have a channel and uh, if you need me to link it, I will link it down in the description. I think I pretty much got everybody that actually does have a channel in there. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Anyways, hope you have a good day and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.